adjusting my microphone here. So basically, what I did was, I don't know if you can see it, but I did take my PCI Express uh, expansion card out and test. I sort of had an idea, I just went with it. And I have a PCI Express NVMe card from ASUS, the HyperX that I got with my motherboard. Um, and I decided to take that out and add another graphics card, figuring that would help, you know, with my DaVinci Resolve. Okay, guys. Here we go. Yeah. I have a few things I've collected. Or let's say I've picked up at Amazon, of course, because Amazon has everything. This is a external M.2. I've already opened this. External M.2 USB, I think 3.1 enclosure so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out my pci express expansion card that i have in my computer and put those four drives in these and put two in each enclosure As you can see they go right on there pretty simple actually and then of course you do have a few things directions i have to figure out what that is and then you have some thermal pads here that go on top of the drive and then oh there's two of these so they must be something to do with because basically it's going to come with this comes with the device you can go USB, this plugs into here. Like I said it only comes with one cable, so I bought another cable, a short cable, which I actually am not going to use this. We'll plug this into here. We'll not use that cable that comes with the device and plug these into here like so which i do have another let's get this out plug into here plug into here then what i have is this 401 usb c hub so I will plug, I know, it's a little messy. One, two, three, <laughs> and four. Look at that, my four drives. I do not, oh right here, actually I have this one too. This is really long. It's a lot, I know, but I basically, what I want to do is add another video card to my computer. Right over here. As you can see, one, two cards. This is my PCI Express card I'm going to take out and put this between it. What do you think? I know, silly. But I'm silly. What can I say? I'm gonna give it a shot. Get a little more graphics power for my DaVinci Resolve. Ah, uh, just playing around. See if it works. 
So I have the power cables for that car right here. And everything's kind of easy to get to, you know? So that's what I'm doing it for. I want to add that other car. It's only a 1080 Ti. It's got 12 gigs of VRAM. What the heck? Experiment, as they say. All right. Let's uh, get things pulled out. All right. So. Um, computer is shut down. Shut the power supply off. We have to set some things in the BIOS. Expansion card. Thing is very long. What do you got to lose? Dirty right here. Get these to fit because they're so wide, you know. Even this very long. Very long. Dang it, right. That's a heavy card. Damn, this gets a lot of dust. So, hopefully this will work. I know. This yeah, Express card that runs at 16 times is much, probably much faster than an external USB-C, but I don't know. I want to see if I can pull three graphics cards. And this is only a two slot. The problem is, is even those cards that are in there now, it's so tough to, you know. Dude. Almost done. Okay, so a little update here. I could not put the 1080 Ti in. I don't have enough um, PCI Express 8 pin. Um, outputs on my power supply, they're all used actually. Cord short when it comes to that. One power cord short. Power connectors here out of the power supply, I use them all. Uh, one, two, three, I don't know how many they are, but there's quite a bit of them and I use them all. 1080 Ti? Nope. Kind of a bum deal. 2060 has uh, 8 gigs of RAM on it, I believe. So, whatever. Hopefully that'll help. Doing a little wire management here to make it look somewhat reasonable. Uh, slot 5, I had that PCI Express card in. And I had to set that to RAID. So I just have to change, do a little cleanup. And then we'll turn it on. There it is. There we go. Okay.
That should take care of this card. I think that's plugged into PCI Express 5. I can't really, I think so. And I had the NVMe expansion card in there. So in RAID, which would operate each card at four times. So that should technically be good. Let's adjust this. Just reboot it. I hope. Okay, they're all showing. That's good. So all the graphics cards are, are showing. That's good. Neck. All right. Now, basically, my let's turn the camera around. I might have to. Let's come over here. these part I'm going to charge that battery that's the power cable these real quick. I might have to look this up. Um, that. That's it. And I put this That's 
that's it. Done. Not too bad, I guess. Not too bad, I guess. Okay. Okay. Let's plug this okay. in. So basically, See what happens. this All is right. what I have set up. Uh, let me turn it around. And then you kind of see exactly. I have them up, this. but I do have one error. Nineteen point seven megabytes per second. USB C three point two. USB transfer. So it's the. It's hot. Very hot. There they are. It doesn't look very appealing, but and that one is not reading. Failed. Cards. RTX Super on the bottom. A 480 on top. 3090 RTX DVGA in the middle. But let's see how that works when the team is all. I don't know. Give it a shot anyways. Alright guys, well and girls. Thanks for tuning in. Get my computer up and running and see if that fourth drive drive Q, it's a two terabyte drive. The other one's a four. Oh, come on. So what's this? This has 51 gig. So let's transfer this over to here. And not very fast. 20 megabits. Very <laughs> slow. Try it. Still 20 megs, 20 megabytes per second. Should be a lot faster than that. So what I can do is I can change the USB-C port on the computer. I have two of those. Let's see if that helps. Again, same folder. <laughs> 21 megs. So that's not good. I wonder. Let's try this again. Removes that little form on the PC up to the USB C port on the motherboard. Let's try it. Okay, I'll see that. These aren't very good. Transfer speeds are crap. They're not very good. 37 megabits per second. Let's try something a little bit bigger. This is 600 gigs. Let's see that. Still 38 megabits per second. Megabits per second. And of course, one of these drives isn't even showing up. So, what do I have? Four, Sabrin. Rocket RGB USB C 20 gigabits per second USB 3.2 generation 2x2 
M.2 SATA and the NVMe SSD enclosure. RGB style, but that's okay. Four of those, because I'm taking these out. I don't know, don't work for me. Actually, a little screwdriver that comes with it. Undo it. Okay, take it by off. Comes with a little quick release. Okay. So I will pull off the little heat shield. Off. There. Uh, crucial PCI Express PCI Express 4.0. This is four terabytes. Plug it in. And then on the other side of this. A little thermal pad. Just peel that off. Flip it over. Nice idea. That just comes with. Very solid. The NVMe card that's in one of them is 4.0 and the other one is 3.0. Anywho, I'm going to check transfer speeds on those Rocket RGB and non-RGB USB-C NVMe external enclosures. So let's take a look. Right over here. I'm gonna go over here. Transfer that over, and voila! What do we get? Almost a gig bits per second. 967 megabits per second. Not bad, okay? Not bad. Now what I'm gonna do is try this. These are Myavio Type C to M.2 SSD enclosures. You can see that. And test these transfer speeds. Okay, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I have that Naivo Type-C to M.2 SSD enclosure. It's a two bay, so two NVMe drives plugged into my computer. Some transfer speeds. I don't know if you can see that. Thirty-eight megabits per second. Thirty-eight megabytes. Megabits. Megabytes. It's crap. Not very fast. And you can see them flashing. So, as just overall on on these enclosures, this was I believe thirty bucks, and then this. These were about 50 bucks. The other ones work fine. Um, there's not much as you can see. There's a controller right there, not very big. 
to control the memory speeds and all that stuff for the NVMe drive, but obviously nothing like that NVMe drive hooked up directly to the motherboard. You get a lot faster, but. And I was gonna add, first I was gonna add this. The Myo, the Myvo Type-C to M.2 SSD enclosure, NVMe. There's two of these here, two of them. They're kind of individuals. I got two of them because I do have four NVMe cards, NVMe SSDs in that expansion card that I have from ASUS. It's right here. It was actually between these two cards, but anywho, I did put it in. I put it back in, should I say. Back what my plan was is to have both four NVMe drives in external enclosures with the USB 3.2. Try these, two of these. Didn't quite work. I didn't get very fast speeds between the drives. I was transferring, you know, 450 gigs between these drives, and it would be a brilliant idea. I'm like, ah. I had one more graphics card in there to help my rendering. So then when that didn't work, I picked up this, four of these. The Sabrent Rocket USB-C 20 gigabits per second, USB 3.2 generation 2x2, M.2 SATA NVMe SSD enclosure. These are RGB, st RGB style. And I tried to rig it so that they all work, but as my PCI Express NVMe card, which is hooked directly to the motherboard. These are great, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. These are good to have. You know, you hook up two of these, USB-C or even one of them. I think if you hook up one drive and you transfer it to another PCI Express NVMe drive on your motherboard, the transfer speeds are pretty fast. I should. I figured I was gonna be creative and uh, add another video card into my computer, but did not work. It did not work. As you can see, I added that PCI Express NVMe card back in right here when you're editing. It's just, it works really well. Really, really well. The catch drive I use for this is on there. This computer has all NVMe drives in it. And it works. It works really well. But anyways, my brilliant idea of taking out my Pre-CI Express NVMe expansion card with four drives just did not work out. Didn't work out. So, anywho. You guys, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and like, and I will see you in, in the next one.